What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Hmm. Someone should weld the iron bar on those panels. Black sat here. Please don't tell me my husband. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Black Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like said, is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? It's just a hunch, but I need to follow up on it. All right then, do your thing. So, are you gonna help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But if you do find something, give me a call. I helped you with your little problem when they killed Natalia. And we agreed not to talk about it ever again. See you, John. Always a pleasure. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly. This is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... And the girl, hot <laughs> damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly. Look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something weird's going on at this gym. What was the name? Dunn's Gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Listen, Weekly. Stay away from this. You hear me? Oh, gosh. All right. We're friends and all, but... Man! Whatever. See you around. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint cans? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah, well, no.
Now that I think of it, eh, uh, no. Hey, pal, how about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> 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 I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. It's just that I don't want to make it... You don't want what? What? Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, okay, I understand. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> the government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons, <laughs> lodging, hookers, drugs. <clears throat> Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare <clears throat> war, war. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get, gets richer and, and richer and richer. <sighs> And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. That is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the million. Star Hotel! <laughs> so, do you like your master, the great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it, not sure what to make of the outcome. never leaves home without his... Huh? Uh, 
sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. <laughs>